There are a lot of islands all around the world, and most of them are occupied by European countries. And that's because in the 14th and 15th century, they made their navy very strong and went all over the world looking for new land to occupy. We said all this to visit this island, Martinique Island in the Caribbean. This one is in the hands of France and it's considered a province of France. Martinique is a fairly small island and it's only 1,128 square kilometers. But on this tiny island, there is a volcano that is connected to the depths of hell. The name of this volcano is called Mount Pele, but not the Pele we all know and love. This island has been in the hands of France for about 400 years, an extremely beautiful place that was named the Paris of the Caribbean. But first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, this giant volcano. Mount Pele is not that tall, it's only 1397 meters tall, an extremely young mountain that's only 400,000 years old. So it started to grow 400,000 years ago, and the more lava that came out, the island got bigger, and the mountain also grew in size. So in the future, this is slowly gonna get bigger and bigger. This is a very interesting place, right? A beautiful island, beautiful weather, it's almost perfect. But you already know what the main problem is, a ticking time bomb. From the beginning of the history, this is how it went. There were natives that lived here. Then the Spanish came. Then the French come and kick out the Spanish and take over the island. And to this day, it's still in their hands. Mount Pele watches the people switch hands between the islands and asks them what the hell are these guys doing. The ancient name of this island that the natives called it was Madiana. And in the Tainu language, which is a native language to this island, it means the island of women. But the French had to change it to fit their own type of language. And they changed it to Martinique. This was a very short history of this island. But we want to talk about the elephant on this island. Mount Pele. Underneath Mount Pele, there is a small town called Saint Pierre. Calling this little town unlucky is an understatement. Because in the near history, a lot of terrible things have happened here. Like for example, in the year 1780, a terrible storm formed in the Caribbean Sea, and it hit this island so hard that it took 9,000 people of St. Pierre into the ocean and every single one of them died. And that means the majority of the population died. Since the town got destroyed, the French decide to rebuild this place in the form of Paris and make it the Paris of the Caribbean. At the end of the 19th century, the small town of St. Pierre is looking really good. There's a lot of people living there and a lot of tourists come visit. And you could say about 30,000 people live in this town. But these 30,000 people don't realize what they're sitting next to. Time slowly passes and we finally reach the 20th century. Exactly the year 1902. On April 23rd, 1902, after centuries of sleeping, Mount Pele finally wakes up. A few weeks before Mount Pele started to wake up, the people that visited the peak, they would report that a yellow gas is coming off from the ground. We now know that was sulfur, but of course back then, the people didn't realize that this is sulfur. After a few weeks, meaning April 23rd, ash start coming out of Mount Pele, and there is a giant cloud of ash around the volcano. The people that lived here look at this mountain and the ash it's giving off and they didn't really mind it and didn't realize what kind of thing is happening. Mount Pele was kind of pissed off 
because it was giving off so many warnings to evacuate, but nobody's listening. Four days later, they eventually send some people to figure out what is happening. They go to the peak of the volcano and realize that up there, there is a pool formed, a pool of water, and there is sulfur coming out of it. They bring the news to the government that's in St. Pierre. After this news, nothing really happens until we get to the next day. The smell of sulfur is so toxic and so much that it's unbearable in the town of St. Pierre. And it was even making it super hard for people to breathe. The animals that were living next to St. Pierre decided to evacuate way before the people and they all left. They realized that what is going to happen in the near future. All these things we're telling you is basically a warning sign that Mount Pele is giving off and it's telling everybody to get away from it. I'm gonna explode. The animals got it the first day and they all booked, but the humans are just staring at the mountain and not realizing what is happening. After a few days, people got tired of the smell of sulfur and told the government, we want to move to the other side of the island until this thing settles down. But the people in charge disagreed and told them, you're gonna be in more danger on the other side of the island. Right here, it's safer. And we are six and a half kilometers away from the volcano, it's safe. So this might be the safest spot in the island. So the people decide to listen and stay. It's interesting to know that the government also made it illegal for anyone to leave with a ship. When all this is happening, a lot of ash and gas is being erupted from the volcano. And there is ash sitting everywhere on the island. It has even polluted the water, so you can't even have clean water. The government would send experts to tell people that the volcano is giving its last try and it's going to stop after this. It seems like the government was afraid of people evacuating and never coming back to his island. We get to May 8th, 1902, 15 days after this thing turned on. On this day, it was the end of the world on Martinique Island because Mount Pele decided to erupt. When the volcano eventually erupted, the amount of lava that exited the volcano itself went to the sky at the speed of 160 kilometers an hour. When the lava exits the mountain with this type of speed, it heats up and cools down and then comes down like rocks raining. And these rocks are literally on fire. So they make the temperature of that area over a thousand degrees centigrade. The entire town of St. Pierre turns into fire in a few seconds and nothing is left from houses to buildings to ships. A fire that has a temperature of more than a thousand degrees and it's not going to stop until it burns everything. Until a radius of 21 kilometers, there was a hellish fire going on on Martinique Island. Every single person on this island turns into dust, including the government himself. When the French Navy that was in the Caribbean realizes that no news is coming out of Martinique Island, they got suspicious. When they get near the island, they are faced with a mountain of fire on what used to be Saint Pierre. It's so hot in that area that the French Navy is forced to stay back and just watch because if they get closer, they will burn as well. The French Navy reported that the fire went on for two days straight and then it slowly came down so we could actually enter the island. Nobody stayed alive on this island except for one person, this guy. The only person that stayed alive in St. Pierre, Lages Silbaris. You might ask, how did he stay alive? Lodger had fought the day before he was arrested and they arrested him and put him in the prison that was underground and it was basically protected from planet earth itself. It's interesting because he had gotten arrested a day before. He was there for one day. Mount Pele explodes, barbecues everybody, but the planet keeps this man safe. When the French Navy finally come here, they rescue him and he lives on this island until the end of his life. This video you're seeing is a clip of Mount Pele before the explosion took place. You have to note that the year is 1902, so the quality is not great. 
It's interesting because a film like this has survived throughout the years. The French government has had this film since 1902, but they could never restore it because it was damaged. And then 105 years later, the technology allowed the French to restore this film eventually. One man stayed alive around this volcano, but eventually, more and more people moved back to the island again. Right now, the population of Martinique Island is more than 361,000. Yes, the mountain is right there and is alive and well, but right now, it's sitting down like a good boy. The last time it erupted before 1902, it had been centuries, but they don't know exactly when it was. And we don't know when it's gonna erupt next. Let's just hope it just stays there and doesn't do anything bad. <laughs>